श्रीमती चिंता अनुराधा जी थैंक यू चेयरमैन सर फॉर अलाउिंग मी टू स्पीक ऑन द जम्मू कश्मीर लोकल बॉडीज लॉ लोकल बॉडीज लॉस अमेंडमेंट बिल 2024 व्हिच ब्रिंग सेवरल पॉजिटिव चेंजेस द इंक्लूसिव इंक्लूसिव रिप्रेजेंटेशन द इंक्लूजन इंक्लूजन ऑफ ओबीसीज इन लोकल बॉडी रिजर्वेशंस enhances social inclusivity and ensures that these communities have a voice in local governance this step towards broader representation is pivotal for balanced social development streamlined election process centralizing the election process under the state election commission promotes a more organized and standardized approach this can lead to more efficient election management reducing discrepancies and enhancing the overall integrity of the electoral process empowerment of women by ensuring reservations for women including those for marginalized marginalized communities like scs sts and obcs the bill promotes gender equality in local government this is a significant step towards empowering women ensuring their participation and representation in decision making process at the local level legal consistency the provisions for the removal of the state election commissioner are aligned with con constitutional standards bringing local laws in har harmony with national legal frameworks this helps maintain legal consistency and reinforces the rule of law in local governance structures these positive marks uh, 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 significant advancement in ensuring a more inclusive efficient and legally consistent local governance system in jammu and kashmir the ysr congress party stands shoulder to shoulder with the efforts of the central government in ensuring further integration of jammu and kashmir with the country in terms of laws rights laws rights and reservations it is also astonishing to note that article 370 has such a regressive effect on the representation of women and obcs in jammu and kashmir and i and, and i commend the honorable home minister in trying to undo the injustices by one by one every session there are bills related to jammu and kashmir where it it be its reorganization bill providing for ews reservation to the residents of jammu and kashmir or even representation of the kashmiri pandits the progressive legislations for jammu and kashmir are much needed and appreciated across all benches of this august house the issues related to obc sir in andhra pradesh our honorable C, uh, chief minister shri vice jagan mohan reddy garu always refers to bcs and bcs as back, backbone class and not backward class in light of the same i would hence urge the central government to bring a law to provide for further representation of obcs such as reservation of 33% in state assemblies and also in to the lok sabha this would ensure that the issues pertaining to obcs are raised and resolved more effectively further to benefit other backward classes in india the fall the following three steps can be taken enhanced educational opportunities implement targeted educational programs and scholarship schemes to improve access to quality education for obc students two skill development initiatives launch skill development program specifically tailored for obc youth to enhance their unemployability in the various sectors and the third point is entrepreneurship in entrepreneurship support sir provide financial assistance subsidies and training for obc individuals to encourage entrepreneurship and self employment ministry of obc sir establishing a dedicated ministry for other backward classes who comprise about half of india's population could significant could significantly address the and streamline the specific challenges they face unlike the tri tribal communities which have a dedicated ministry the obcs currently lack a specialized government body to focus on their unique needs and issues this proposed ministry would play a cru crucial role in ensuring the effective implementation of quotas reserved for obcs both in educational institutions and employment sectors moreover it would serve as a dedicated platform to address various forms of discrimination that obcs encounter promoting greater social ju justice and equity the ministry could also oversee the development and implementation of policies and programs specifically tailored to improve the socio economic conditions of the obc community ensuring their concerns and rights are adequately represented and addressed at the national level it has been observed that there are several government bodies that do not meet the 27% position occupied by obcs one such example are our central educational institutions that have a severe uh, deficit in recruiting faculty members for other backward classes 
the government data from 2021 revealed a stag uh, staggering 6074 vacant faculty positions in 42 government run universities with 75 with 75 percent of these vacancies falling within the reserved categories ranging from 62 to 90 percent vacancy for obc positions proper implementation of the reserve reservation policy is crucial and the government must focus on rectifying this issue Expedited recruitment for reserved categories, regular monitoring, and government-sponsored preparatory programs are essential measures. So with these comments, I support the bill on behalf okay. of YSR Congress parties. Thank you. Thank you, sir.